Okay, welcome back. It's 3.22 a.m. You can look into that clock there. 22nd June 2018. It's so early in the morning and I'm recording this video tutorial for you, for my dear students, so that you can learn Java easily, conveniently and for free. Because I'm going to upload all these video tutorials on YouTube platform and you can view them always for free. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about string class. In Java, we represent a text, that means the double quoted text values as string objects. String is a class in the Java standard library and it's available there in the java.lang package. So you just don't need to import that, but you can still use that because lang is the only package that gets imported automatically by the Java compiler. So first of all, let me show you how you can read a string from keyboard. So for that, I will declare a scanner reference there. So here we go. Now you can see that that import statement has been written by the Eclipse automatically. Let me show you how to do that once more. So just write your class name, some character of your class name that you want to use there in your Eclipse and then after writing some of the characters, just hold the control key and hit the space bar. This will appear, that pop-up will come. And select the class that you want to use there. Then hit that return key, it will be completed and the import statement will be written as well. You can see that at the top, I have not written that import, it is written there by the Eclipse. Now I will declare the reference there, I'll name it as S, then new keyword, scanner, and then within the parenthesis, you need to write the source, and the source for this scanner is the keyword, so I'm writing that system dot in there. Now just for your information, this is a method. Okay, on the right hand side, just after new, you see that any name that comes, that is post fixed with a opening parenthesis and the closing parenthesis is a method. Now scanner is a class and this is a method within that class. Now this type of methods which are having the same name as the class name, they are typically referred as constructor methods. We use these constructor methods in order to construct object. When constructing the object using the new keyword, we call these methods or we use these methods. As you can see it happening here while I'm constructing the scanner object. I'm using that constructor of the scanner object and supplying that system.in as the source of this scanner object so that this scanner object referred by S will always read from keyboard. Now I'll prompt it, prompt to the user to input their name. So enter your name. Now I want a string there to hold the name. So string name equals s dot next line. Now this next line is going to read the entire line that is going to be provided there in the input console by the user. And that line is going to be returned here in this program as a string that we are assigning, the reference of that string object that we are assigning here in this name reference. So this name is a reference of this string type that's going to refer to the string object that's going to be returned by this next line after reading it from the console. So if I want to print back that name into the console, I can use that println and can write your name is plus name. Okay, so that's going to append that name with this string. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. So it is asking for my name. I'll input Shivaji Paul. And you can see that it's printing back that using that println statement. Now that's how you can read a string from keyboard using the scanner class and the next line method. Now for string, if you want to get a particular character of a string, then you can use the char at method. So let me comment out all these things and let me declare another string there, say so string str and let me initialize this with a constant string. 
So hello world is the great choice for this. Now if I want to get only the first character of that hello world using the string reference str, then I can do str.caret. That's the method in the string class that you can use to get a particular character of a string object. So if I use this care at zero, it's going to return that H from that string. So I can have that in a character variable. So character CH. Now character variable, they are actually declared using the care keyword. They can represent a single character. Unlike the strings, strings are set of characters. So a character variable, a single character variable can be declared using the care keyword. And so this character variable ch is going to hold that h there. So if I now print that ch, I'm going to get h only. And here we go. So you see that? Now, if you want to get the length of a string, you can use the length method of the string class. Say I'm interested of getting the length of the string, so I can make a call to that length method. And it's going to return me the length of the string and that's integer. So I can declare a variable length, uh, I'm sorry, len, and can catch that length there. So if I print that len, I'll get the length. Length and plus len. Okay, let me run this. And here you can see that the length is 13 characters. Now, if you want to find a particular character or a particular substring pattern within a string, you can use the, the index of method. Now, if I use that index of, say, comma, it's going to return me the index of that comma character in this entire string. Now, the index of the first character of Java string is zero. So, zero is the first character's index. So you can see that this comma is appearing there at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the index of that comma is 5. So if I want to search where that comma is in the string str, I can do like this. Now if there is no comma at all in the entire string, then it's going to return minus 1. Otherwise, it's going to return the index of that particular string, substring inside that string. So here we go. Let me print that index. And I'm running this. So you can see that it's 5. That's the index of the comma. Now if I want to search, say, at the rate in this entire string, that's not there. It's going to return me minus 1. So here it is. Now you can search a substring pattern as well. Instead of a single character, you can just try to find out w o r inside of that string now it's going to return the starting index of that w in that w o r so here we go we're going to get 7 because 7 is the index from which that w o r is starting so you can use that index of in order to find a character or a substring pattern inside another string now, there is another useful method of the string class that we frequently use, and that's the substring method. So, you can use that substring method in order to cut a portion of a string. So, str.substring, and if I use like this, say 2, then it's going to return me the substring of that string str starting from index 2. So, I'm going to get this portion in a, another string object. Okay, so I'll declare another string reference there. So str1 is going to hold string starting from that L, starting from index 2. So I'm going to print that and it's going to cut it off until end. Okay, so str1 and here we go. I'm running this. You see that? It's LLO comma space world exclamation sign. Now, if you want to provide a final index with the substring, you can do that. If you do not provide a final index, only one is there, then it will start from that index 2 and it will cut it off until the end. But you can do something like this. Now, it will start from index 2 and it will cut until 
index 5. Now this is the final index but it's not going to cut up to 6. It's going to cut up to 6 minus 1. That means starting from character at index 2, it will cut up to character at index 5. So it's going to be 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to get this portion there in this str1. So here we go. You see that? So you can use the index of in order to find a particular pattern and then you can use this substring in order to cut a particular portion of that string. So let me show you that. Say we are interested of cutting off this hello which is coming just prior to that comma. So first of all we are interested of finding where the comma is and then we are going to use that substring to get that hello out of that string str. So let me comment all these things. And now, first of all, I'll declare an index and we'll try to find out the comma inside that hello world. Now, as I get that index of comma there in this index variable, now I'm ready to cut off whatever we have prior to that comma. So here we go. str dot substring. And we should start from 0 and we need to cut off up to index minus 1. So the final index should be index. So that's going to cut off index up to index minus 1. Now if you have something more there, say, now in this case, it's going to cut off this one, this string. So let me go ahead and show you that. I'll print str1 this time. Let me copy that line number 27 and paste it here and here we go. So you see that hello space testing. The entire string that is coming prior to that comma is actually chopped off by that substring and returning that here in this str1. So you can use this index of and substring in order to find a particular pattern within a string and to chop off a particular portion of a string. So in the next tutorial I will use this string class in order to test whether a particular string is a palindrome or not. So that's going to be a programming example. Thank you for watching.